Hare Krishna. Today in this video, I will discuss about some important medical term. So it is very important for all fresher medical student. So I will tell one by one. First one is alopecia. Alopecia means partial or complete hair loss. Then hypoxia. Hypoxia means decrease oxygen level in tissue. Apnea. Temporary absence or cessation of breathing is called apnea. Then trachycardia. Increasing heartbeat more than 100 beats per minute is called trachycardia. Then next one is bradycardia. Bradycardia is slow heart rate less than 60. Then sinusis. Bluish discoloration of the skin is called sinusis. Due to lack of oxygen supply, this sinusis happens. Then dysapnea. Dysapnea means difficulty in breathing or sorrow. Next one is enema. Injection of fluid into the rectum and colon to induce a bowel movement we are giving enema. Then next one is oliguria. Oliguria means low urine output. Then myalgia. Myalgia means muscle pain. Then melina. Melina means the production of dark stool is called melina. Due to, due to the severe hemorrhage in gastrointestinal tract or in the most uh, or in the case of peptic ulcer disease we can see the dark color stool that is called melina then next one is insomnia insomnia means lack of sleep then diuretics diuretics it is one type of medicine which is increasing the production of urine next one is polyuria polyuria means excessive uh, excessive urination more than 2000 ml per day that is called polyuria then anuria anuria means no urination the our kidneys are not able to produce urine that is called anuria then hematuria hematuria means blood in urination that is called hematuria then anxiety a unpleasant wording is called anxiety Next one is wound, breaking down the skin or other tissue in the body. That is called wound. Then shock. It is a life-threatening condition that occurs when the, our body is not getting enough blood supply. That is called shock. Then fever. Fever is increasing the body temperature. Then epilepsy. Epilepsy, it is a neurological disorder and it is one type of conversion. Next one is hyponatremia, decreasing sodium level in our body. Then hypernatremia, increase in sodium level in our body that is called hypernatremia. Then hypokalemia, kalemia means potassium level. So hypokalemia means decreasing potassium level in our body and hyperkalemia is increasing potassium level in our body. Then otitis media, otitis media means inflammation of the middle ear. Then nausea, nausea means vomiting sensation. Next one is preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative. Preoperative means before surgery. Intraoperative means from the time the client is admitting in operating room or surgery room. Then postoperative means after surgery. Next one is hand. Next one is hand washing. Hand washing is the act of cleaning both hands with the use of any liquid or soap for the purpose to remove dirt or microorganism. That is called hand washing then gloving gloving means placing of gloves in the on the hands that is called gloving next one is analgesic analgesic is one type of medicine which elevates pain abduction is movement away from the midline of the body then adduction adduction the movement of the limb or other part towards the midline then gynecomastia gynecomastia means enlargement of male breast Next one is assessment. Assessment is the first step that involves with critical thinking skill and data collection. It is two types. One is subjective and one is objective. Then next one is diagnosis. Diagnosis means identify the disease. It is a clinical ju judgment about individual. Next one is implementation. It is the step which involves action or doing and the actual carrying out of nursing intervention. Then Evaluation. Evaluation refers to what is done to the patient and how it is done. That is evaluation. Next one is inspection. Inspection means visual examination. Then next one is palpitation. Palpitation is a method of feeling with fingers or hands during the physical examination. 
so the healthcare examiner so they are touching our body and to examine the structure consistency and location next one is percussion it is it involves stepping of finger or hands to check the organ that is filled with fluid or gas then next one is auscultation to it is a process of listening sound with the use of stethoscope